Volusia County, the Governor's Cup is a really big deal. Last night was the prelude race for the Pro Late Models, which takes place at 145 Eastern the today. Prelude for the Super Late. Yeah, for the Super Late. Last night was the Pro Late, and um, Ryan Luza won, who just happens to drive for Jamie Skinner. Yeah. So, and uh, I heard it on the Racing Guys show, Pat Patterson. They were talking a little bit about some of the drama that unfolded. I can say I did not go out to the racetrack. I stayed home so you can go out there and have boy time, racing boy time. And you didn't get home till like 1245 a.m. And Or so. I, yes. Yeah. What the heck happened? Well, uh, it's, I, you know, I've rarely ever been tore down from the third place guy before. I know. But, I thought, uh, I remember you saying that at 1 a.m. I'm like, what? Who? There's who? some, who? you know, a lot of times, and, and please, nobody in late model series take this wrong because i'm a late model guy myself but mm -hmm. uh sometimes that mentality the grudges and the people just want to make it miserable for others and uh when you when you bring um you know one of the best drivers in the series uh like a ty majeski and and you're racing against brad may which is one of the greatest yeah. race car drivers in florida in my opinion uh and you just get flailed by a car it, it, it pisses you off, and, and, and those guys' feelings were hurt a little bit, I think, and they, uh, Brad was a, a, a complete pro, by the way, and congratulated, said his car was good, he just, our car was, that kid was just amazing, That and he's never ran a lap at New Smyrna, That's Ryan amazing. had not, and uh, so, so it was kind of cool because the boys got to race with him last time he raced, and it was at, at, uh, at Pensacola. And uh, the driver, the guy that we were working with, was not feeling well, so they put Ryan in his car, and he won the first. It was twin 50s. He won the first one, had to start in the back of the second one, come all the way back up and won it. Um, so this kid's the real deal. I mean, he is a kid that uh, I wish they had more funding. They need funding mm -hmm. uh, because he's a kid that, that uh, could be up there racing with Ryan and Chase and those guys in the Cup Series within the next four or five years. He just needs an opportunity. I, and that's a, one of the it, – it breaks your heart because you, you, you want to help. I do, at least. I, if, if I think there's a kid out there that can get the job done and is sincere and is going to work hard at it and doesn't expect everyone just to – you know, throw throw money at him. And it seems like this kid's like that. I mean, he was, you know, a big deal five years ago, and then they just basically ran out of funding. He kind of started doing some eye racing just so he yeah. could race, and then he jumps in a <laughs> pro late last night. And, I mean, like, sat on the pole two-tenths quicker and, like, one by four seconds at uh, New Smyrna. That's a big deal. Amazing car control. And, uh, you know, I just got to throw a little shameless plug out here because our old family, Toyota, came up a little bit short in Phoenix, but my oldest son won the championship in a Camry at New Smyrna for the Pro Lates, and then this the first race is the Governor's Cup. Uh, we won the Governor's Cup last night with Ryan Lusa in a Camry, and so we're still trying to carry the torch, you yes. know? Are and you just we, buttering up to Ed because he's next? No, okay. no, he's retiring. He's out of here. <laughs> he said he doesn't, you don't have to suck it anymore. You don't have <laughs> I don't to, race you don't anymore, have to suck so up anymore. It doesn't matter, but it, they, they were family for a long time, yeah. and uh, the boys.